White House blasts the Democrats over what they call the disgraceful abuse of investigation. If anybody has been abused more often, it's um, it's the Republicans, it's the Republicans abusing the Democrats. That's what it should have been titled. The White House on Monday night excoriated, I think it's how I said, um, Democrats for issuing a series of document document requests as part of a sweeping investigation into 45's administration, business, and campaign. White House um, Press Secretary um, Dumb Bitch Fat Fuck Sanders blasted House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jared Nadler, who's a Democrat for New York, for opening a disgraceful and abusive investigation, is what she termed it. But what she should have t- what she should have said was not disgraceful and not abusive investigation. Into an allegation she claimed have already been covered by special counsel Robert Mueller and Congress. Chairman Nedler and his fellow Democrats have embarked on this fishing expedition because they are terrified that their two-year false narrative of Russia collusion is crumbling, which technically it's not false narrative. So, if anybody likes to intimidate and abuse America, it's usually the Republicans. Nedler on Monday issued the first issued the first round of document requests as part of a sweeping investigation into, into 45's campaign. Business and administration investigation will focus on three key areas. Nadler said obstruction of justice, political corruption, and public and abuses of power, which 45 is known to do that. He abuses his power, and he's known for corruption. For, um, fat Fuck Sanders suggested Democrats are harassing 45 to distract from the radical agenda. Yeah, it's funny how she brings up that 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 the America's harassing 40, 45, but she failed to bring up that that who was harassed more than anybody, Obama, because they couldn't handle the fact that he was a fucking black. Citing the party's um support for bills that protect access to late term abortions and Green New Deal. The Democrats are far more interested in, pa- in pathetic political games and catering, and catering to a radical leftist base than on producing results for our citizens, which technically she's talking about the Republicans exactly. They don't care about anything. She said the Democrats are not after the truth. Really, that's the Republicans. The Republicans don't under- don't care about the truth. The 45 campaign issued a, a similarly boosting statement Monday night calling the investigation an example of dramatic overreach by, 40, by by Democrats. These desperate Democrats know they know they cannot beat 45 in 2020. I'm pretty sure they can. They just they just need a, a good example of a of a candidate. So instead, they have embarked on a on a on a not disgraceful um and not witch hunt because it's not a witch hunt at all. With one singular aim, topple the will of the American people and seize the power that they have zero chance at winning legitimately. Um, the ju- Judiciary Committee requested documents from 81 people and ent- and, and, and entities. Nadler said have previously provided information to the special counsel's office, the Southern District of New York, or other officials. Nadler said of individuals who were not who were not named in Monday's set of document requests could hear from the committee. While the move was met with criticism from the White House and and forty five, who decredited as a hoax, which it's not. Nadler defended his commi- committee's reactions and argued that re- that Republicans abdicated their oversight responsibilities during their forty five's first two years in office. He reiterated that he believes Congress is still far from impeachment proceedings, which Nadler would oversee as chairman of the Judiciary Committee. For for two years, 45's administration has been attacking the core functions of our democracy, and the Congress has refused to do any oversight. Nadler said they refused to. They feuded him. They've acted more as shields than as, as what the Congress is supposed to be doing, which is to be which is to be a check and balance. We're going to be the check and the balance. We're going to find out. We're going to lay out the facts that that for the American people he continued and that's it so and so if any p- political party is disgraceful and abusive it's usually the Republicans that's what that's basically what it is